What's up guys? It's King Daddy DMac and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. Here again on the Feed the Beast server. And yeah, I guess it's called Tame the Beast now. I gotta get used to saying that. Anyway, it's directly after the last episode, so nothing really has changed since then. And if you remember, about to go head out and find uh, my own little area so we can start to set up our base. It's getting pretty crowded here at the uh, spawn area. So I think it's about time that we grow up and head out. So brand new day, perfect time to start exploring. We wanna get some good distance between uh, us and spawn. So I've got all the materials that uh, we gathered last time. Brand new armor, all enchanted, our rubber boots, two little backpacks, some nice arrows, our linking books, and plenty of food, our new tools. Man, we are styling and profiling. So hopefully, I'm not sure how far. I'm probably going to head out. Uh, let's see, where are we right now? You know what, I should probably... I'm going to really quick, I'm going to set up a waypoint. I just learned about this, and I didn't even know what that was before. Sorry to backtrack a little bit, but let's set up a waypoint, I guess, I don't know, maybe right here. And to do that, I press M for the map. And let's see, waypoints. Let's go add. And call it spawn. How about that? How about that spawn base? There we go. There we go. So hit OK. Awesome. And do I hit add? I think that's it. I think I already hit add. So let's exit that menu. And look at that. Very sweet. And it shows up on our little map in the upper right hand corner. Very, very nice. All right. So for real now, let's get going because I got to do most of the traveling during the day. But hopefully I'd like to start setting up our a little area, have a generator, a furnace, and all that good stuff. Ooh, that's kind of weird. Getting a little laggy here. Um, I don't know if it has anything to do with the texture pack, or it shouldn't be newly generated stuff. Or it also could be the fact that the server is right now filled with people. Just had a couple people sign off, but oh man, a whole lot of people. Looks like someone's been exploring this way. We might run across some other people's bases along the way. But man. Let's see. What's over yonder? Now, I've been thinking about biomes that I want to be in. I've heard that it's good to be at least nearby a swamp biome. So we'll probably look for something like that. I'd like to find an area that sort of crisscrosses between a few. Um, and hopefully some type of unique looking um, land structure, natural spawning structure. Being close to a village would be nice too. I'm not sure how the villages work here in this. Maybe one of you guys can tell me if they're more common in when you're using the mod packs than it is in a normal Minecraft map. But anywho, let's see. Piggies. Should I, you know, I got plenty of food. I don't want to start destroying the mobs quite yet. But yeah, I've been having a lot of fun here. I uh, haven't had too much of a chance to play my single player yet this week or my um, Hermitcraft. But it's just, it's exciting. I really want to try and get better familiar with all these mods. And I already feel like I'm falling behind everybody else on the server. Everyone else seems to have, not everybody, but most everybody seems to have a pretty good setup already. And are in all different dimensions and all sorts of crazy stuff. So I want to get at least caught up. I don't have to be ahead, but I'd like to get at least caught up. So let's just go through here for a while. And I'm going to cut out for a moment, and I'll come back when I'm maybe about three to 600 blocks further ahead, unless something neat shows up. Wow, look at this. That is really cool. Huge mountain right at the edge of this. Are we in the ocean? It's probably an ocean biome. Or I don't know, but it's pretty nifty. I really like this, so this might be a possibility. 
going to keep on heading further out because I don't know what other areas, what other biomes are around here. Let's try and turn. Let's see. It looks like, is that a jungle right over there? I can't quite tell. And I got to get used to not pressing F3 because I keep on doing that to try and see where I am. But of course, right there in the upper corner of the map shows everything. Wow, look at that. That is really sweet. I like that. I wonder if that's a cave or just lighting. Lighting problems. All right, looks like we're ending off in this ocean here. I'm going to start to head inland a bit. So I want to see what else there is. Hold on. Don't break. Don't break. All right. Let's try and do this. I don't want to have to. Awesome. Love how it doesn't break every time. Don't have to always keep on recrafting boats. It's a real pain in the butt. All right. What seems to be around here? Ooh, there's a swamp. Exactly what I was looking for. Awesome. I like this. I like this. And it's right by this mountain area. You know, I think we may just sort of end off here. I haven't seen any torches or any other life going on. Hey, sheepies. And what do we have over this way? Come on, generate, generate. Our spawn base is directly back that way. It's interesting how the waypoints work. I don't know if I like it or not. I got to get used to it. Oh, I love this big mountain area. It'd be really cool if we could find a spawner like way up high in the mountain. I know that is possible. Looks like we got a desert right around here. Ooh, what the heck is that? Is that oil? I'm not exactly sure what you use oil for yet, but I know it's definitely a good resource to have close by. All right, that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Struck liquid gold. Oh, look at that. Oh, so many cool places right around here. Oh, and more oil. Oh, wow. I love these, like, hilly deserts. So neat. All right, I'm, I'm liking this area. Got a whole bunch of biomes right together. And I like how they really sort of contrast with each other. But apparently it's important to be in a swamp just because these rubber trees over here are a lot more common. And I know, of course, we got plenty of rubber at spawn, but I really want to try and start out with as little resources as possible. We had our little care package of armor and tools to start off with but i think that's about it so yeah i'm i'm liking this i think we're gonna set up right around right around here why the heck not Ooh, and some moo moo is perfect all right so let's see it's getting pretty late in the day the sun's gonna be setting soon let's hurry up and start to build a little home Right, so, I don't know, we'll fix this up later, but just something big enough so that we can sleep for the night, get our little thing set up. Alright guys, you know, building homes is not my specialty by any means, but I think I'm going to actually build a house here because I don't think it's quite safe enough in this area just to be completely out in the open. But we'll get this purdied up over the next couple days. All right, should be good enough. Don't have any glass or anything yet, so we can't really do windows or nothing. It's probably a bit high, but I'm not gonna complain. Oof, we are running low on resources already. But that's okay. I probably went a little overboard here. Alright, so I'm just going to fill this baby in. Alright. Let's get some torches up here. Alright, so that should be good to hold this up for the night. Oh my goodness. Get a home. Get a home. Let's get ourselves a crafting table. Of course.
course, the most important. Let's see, what other things do we need? Don't have much for resources. I guess we should set up our little linking book in a moment. So I'm going to wait to do that until probably day. Let's see, we need to make a door. Let's go ahead and do that and place this door. Anything scary? Oh no! Alright. Set you down. Get that door up. Let's get some torches around here. <laughs> Look at this. So god awful ugly. Oh my god. Oh no, creepers! Creepers! Go away. Go away. Oh, great. Here come all the folk coming after us. But I think we have everything that we need. Nice. Alright, so what else can we start crafting? Um, let's get ourselves, I guess, an oven. Oh, we don't even have any stone. What are we going to do? Alright, well, I'm going to hang out until the following day. And um, we will start get a going on gathering materials and crafting stuff up. All right, guys, it is finally daytime. And man, was it noisy last night. All the slimes running around here. Such a nice thing about being in a swamp biome. Not going to have to really worry about slime balls at all. Anyway, let's see. What can we do here today? Probably should start gathering some rubber and stuff like that, but let's first go in. Oof. Let's make ourselves a couple of contraptions. Let's see. Get out my digger's backpack first of all. Let's see. Get ourselves some cobblestone out of there. Thank you, sir. And, ooh, we need some more wood. I think I'm going to do that even before we start building anything because that is the cornerstone of almost every recipe getting wood Woo! all right just one or two more trees and then we should be good to go all right man this place is just crawl into the rubber trees and I guess the main things to designate a rubber tree is these uh, branches or bushes the leaves are way high up and then they get these little tiny little things on them and that's where you can extract the rubber but we'll get to that momentarily let's go ahead and start crafting a couple things first let's turn this into pretty much all wooden planks all right, let's make ourselves a furnace. Very good. Let's make ourselves a chest. So we can start dumping out the non-important stuff from our inventory. Good, good. I guess we'll throw our chest right here for now. Let's start getting rid of this junk. All right. Now, let's see the fun stuff. What do we need? We've made ourselves a furnace. Um, next, how would we make that an electric furnace? Let's see, there's an electric. And by the way, guys, this right here, some people are confused and thinking I'm using the too many items where I'm able to just grab the stuff and put it in my inventory. This is all just because there's so many different new crafting recipes. Basically, I'm just able to search and find something. Then when I left click on it, it will bring it up and I'm able to uh, learn how to craft it. So in order to make an electric furnace, we need an iron furnace, which we need an electric circuit and an iron furnace for, and that is how you make an iron furnace. All right, so I guess before we do that, we have to get a generator actually to have a way to power it. So let's see, generator right there. All right, so we're going to need the iron furnace, refined iron ingot, and a battery. And to do that, we're going to need some tin, I do believe. Why aren't you letting me click on you? All right, well, why don't we get out then our furnace that we just crafted. I guess we'll set the furnace right up here. 
Let's throw in some coal. And we brought to, yeah, I'll do about 15 of the iron. We're going to turn this now into refined iron, which is sort of needed for most of the uh, new contraptions. You have to make these iron blocks, machine blocks. All right, so let's see. So other things, we're going to need to start gathering rubber, which is going to be very important. So let's see, to do that, we need to make a tap. I think a tap is something like that. So I guess we'll make a couple of them, because I think I'm going to need it for building another machine here. All right, so that's good. Let's dump out this. Let's set down our bed as well. That's what I should have done is reset my spawn, but oh well. Let's see, I'll set my bed right there. And we can get rid of the buckets for now. The books. We gotta still link that to spawn, but we'll do that soon enough. Just set you there for now, because I don't need you right away. Alright, I think we are getting down to business. All right, let's go get ourselves some rubber. So, in order... Ooh, thank you. Some nice apples. In order to get the taps really going... Is this a rubber tree? Yeah. It's good to sort of bring the leaves up, and this will expose more of the wood so the taps can start to develop. Or not taps, whatever they're called. The little rubber spots. Yep, and you see there's a little rubber spot. And then apparently, oh, sticky situation. When you do that, you get this sticky resin. We're going to have to use a machine in order to process that. But I, from what I gather, you don't want to over tap the trees. You just want to take a little bit and then move on to the next. Otherwise, they will um, mess up. Ooh. Perfect. We got a sticky rubber sapling. Let's then go take some from here. Thank you, sir. And of course, we're going to use the sticky resin to make rubber, if I didn't already say. So let's just do this to all of them. All right. Any more around here? There we go. There's, I think I see another one. Ooh, wolves! Awesome. Be able to grab some bones back at uh, the little skelly farm that I built. And we can start to get ourselves some pets as well as protection. All right. And see how the little circle still stays there? So this just shows up once the rubber comes out. Oh, yeah. Getting a lot, a lot, a lot. Any more, any more? Oh, there's another little one. And I'll spend time dealing with the leaves off camera because that's kind of boring. All right, any more quickly? No. All right, so let's head back. Let's figure out everything else that we have to build. So um, in order to get, again, the generator... So right here, we need to get the iron furnace, which I guess we can make one soon. Why the heck is this not letting me click on you? All right, so we need a battery. Lithium battery. All right, this guy here. All right, so we need to get tin, redstone, and then this copper cable, and that's what we're going to need the rubber for. Now, just for the sake of time, since I've already done a lot of mining, I think I'm actually going to head back and I'm going to grab sort of a sampling of the ores and stuff that I grabbed back at spawn. So let's go ahead and let's grab our book. Let's just empty out this stuff. Let's see one of our books. And I guess we'll have, we wanted to have a spawn. How about right about here, I guess? Or right in the center should be good. So, where's the new book? Put it right there, and that should now link us back here. Let's head back to spawn. Let's go activate this book now. So that it, apparently if you read it before using this other thing, 
the book falls out and doesn't come with you or something like that when you teleport. All right, and we're going to call this Dmax Base. Awesome. All right, let's start to empty this stuff out. I guess we can just empty everything. We're going to need a bigger chest. Let's make another chest. All right, then with this chest, if we surround this with iron, it'll make us an iron chest. How simple is that? All right, so we'll throw you down for now. We'll throw our iron chest right here. And I guess this is, I think, the size of a double chest. So very, very helpful. Empty out all that stuff. And I think we should be about good to go. Let's see, that's my spawn base. Spawn home, okay. Let's get out the wood. Do I have the wood on me? No, where'd I stick the wood? Did I already lose it? Urgh. Okay, it's right there. You derp. Okay, so let's make some sticks and let's get this book thing all set up so that we don't have to keep on carrying around a book. All right. And I guess I'll do my stand right here, maybe. And spawn base, spawn home. Dmax spawn base. All right, so we throw that right there. Awesome. And then this, anytime, we can now just click on that. So that means that we can carry around one of them. And then oh, it, all the rest, we can just put a line of books and go wherever we want. All right, so that's good, that's good. So let's get this stuff all out here. Let's figure out what we need to do. Let's see, what do I have in those bags? All right, I'm gonna get myself a little bit organized with all the stuff in my chest and then we'll come back. All right, so I ended up making two more chests. So we got three now in total, feel a little bit better. Let's see, our refined iron is all done cooking up. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> And let's see, let's go ahead and I need to make first this battery up here. So we need to use tin. And before that, we need to go ahead and make this guy. So let's get out some copper. Oh, but we can't use the rubber yet, unless I want to cheat and go back. Now let's do rubber the legit way. All right, so let's go back here. Let's figure out to make rubber, we need a powered furnace. Or we can just smelt it. All right, so let's go ahead and just smelt it. I know it's probably kind of a waste, but it's not the end of the world. I hope we get more than one each. That would be really nice. But it's probably not going to be the case. Err. All right, so we're going to have to wait for six of those. Let's see, what do we need next for that? So let's go ahead and make some copper wire. Let's see, do we have copper? Perfect. So we're going to need three copper. I should probably make a couple of these. All right, let's go ahead and craft up some copper wire. All right. Well, that's nice, and it gives you six in total. We're not going to have nearly enough rubber for that. Come on, hurry up, hurry up. Four, let's see, what else can we do in the meantime? We need to make another furnace so that we can make an iron furnace. So there's different ways of doing that, and they probably use about the same amount of materials, but we'll just do it this way. All right, so furnace, iron furnace. You know what? I feel like the other, let me just check that again. So to make a generator, this right here, a machine block, is the same as an iron furnace, but then this takes three more. So I think it's better to do it this way. Well then, I guess we'll do it this way. So boom, got our machine block, our furnace, and all we need now is our battery. We should have six, at least six, cooked up now. Let's get our cable wire. Is it like that? Oh, I think you can just go, let's see. There we go, okay. So there's different ways you can craft it. It's kind of interesting. So let's just grab a bunch of them because we're gonna need it anyway. And I guess we can, we'll save that in case we need rubber for something else. Let's get out, did we get out tin yet? All right, let's get out some tin. 
Confetti nice. Tin. Alright, Mr. Tin. So I think it was like this. Ah, oh, we need redstone. I wish I could stay in the crafting table. I think there's something where you can actually just lay stuff and let them set there. It'd be so helpful for me because I'm so forgetful. I'll start crafting something and then realize I don't have all the stuff for it. All right, there we go. Got our battery. Awesome. So now if we go furnace, machine block, battery, we get our generator. Sweet. All right, so where should we set this hunk of junk? Um, I'm going to move our crafting table. So it does not need to go there. Um, I guess we'll throw for now our generator. I'll put them right there for now. All right, so a generator, I guess, works kind of similar to a furnace. I think. Let's let's test this out. Let's see exactly how she works. Let's grab some iron ore. So if I take this and I throw in a coal, it starts to heat up the generator. Can I throw this in? No. So we need to get an electric furnace. I guess, I don't know if it holds that charge or if it will then go away. So I may have just wasted a coal. But, oh well. Oh well. Alright. Um, crafting table. I'll just set you, I guess, up here in the corner for now. So, next, we've got our generator. Now, let's do our electric furnace electric furnace okay so for this we're going to need another iron furnace redstone and an electric circuit oh it takes a lot of those refined iron so let's i guess we'll make got probably got to make more of those first let's see yeah we're going to need to make some more so we have two three four five six was it i think all right, so we need that. Where'd she go? All right, so I think we have everything to do that, baby. Now, if I click this, that's pretty cool. It just shows up there, so I don't have to rely on my god-awful memory to do this. All right, so we got our first electric circuit. Awesome. Let's go back to the electric furnace now. Ooh, we need to make an iron furnace. We're just shy there. So let's cook up some more. Oop. Let's see. Let's cook up some more of our iron. Eight. Let's do 16. So it was a little wasteful before when I just did 15. All right. So we're going to have to wait on that guy. Let's see if there's anything else we can do in the meantime. I think that is just about everything. And again... Oh, huh, we don't need refined iron for that. Oh, I'm a derp. <laughs> Alright, so I can just take straight iron and go like this. Oh, that is so much better. I like that a lot more. Okay, so I think then we actually should be good to go then. So electric furnace, once again, put in that, put in the redstone, put in our electric circuit. Awesome, now we got our electric furnace. So I can just throw this guy. I guess we'll put him right next to the generator. Okay. And then because it's right next to it, it will power it. Otherwise, you need some type of wiring or piping, which I'm not too familiar with. There's all different types of voltage and interesting stuff. So anyway, now that that still has a little bit of power, this is now powered. So we could just throw some more iron in there. In fact, I think I'm going to do this. I'm going to yank, yank that out, and this is about to finish up, so we'll let those finish cooking. Alright, that's done. Perfect. So I guess I can throw the rest of this in here now, and it's taking the charge. For now, we're just going to be powering this with coal, but eventually, we will be able to power it with other sources of power. Okay. Okay. So, now that we have that guy made, let's see, what else can we make? Electrolyzer. I think next we're going to do maybe a battery box. Let's see how to do that. Now, what a battery box does is all the power in the generator, once it reaches this full part, is being wasted, having this coal in there. I guess it is powering this, but a battery box will basically store excess power 
so that it will use that up and go into the next object. So to do this, easy enough, let's make some more of these batteries, which I think I remember how to do. We have enough tin. That should be enough. Oh, we need to do those guys first. See what I mean about being forgetful. So I guess we'll just use up all those. And it's going to go something like this. All right, I'll just make it as many as I can. All right. So we've got the batteries again. How did we do this? We should have everything else. So we'll lay in our three batteries. Um, we will lay in our wood. Ooh, we got to get more wood soon. And one of our little copper cables. Awesome. So now we have a battery box. We also are going to need to make a wrench because for all of these things, in order to pick them up, if you just use a um, your pickaxe, a lot of them will break and you end up losing a lot of the materials that you used. So let's grab a wrench and let's see for the battery box. I'm not exactly sure how this guy works. I think it's got to be next to the generator and then I think the power comes out of this little dot. Then if I click here, that little dot will turn and then I think go into that guy. So why don't we, do I have stuff cooking still in there? Yeah, that was stupid. I'm going to space this guy one away just to see. I think I can just use this copper cable. Let's see, and set it like that maybe? Is that powering it? No. Is our bat box powered? No, it's because this has no more coal in it. So let's throw more coal in. Now we should see, yep, see our bat box is charging up and it goes to a total power level of 4,000. And then out it can do 32, I guess that's energy unit per tick. And a tick is there's 20 ticks in a normal second. So 32 electric units out per tick. All right, so as that's charging it up, it should also be charging this guy. You see that little thing is showing that there's power going out. All right, so that's working. Let's see, other machines that we want. Let's go up here and let's put in for a macerator. I showed this in an earlier episode, the one that we have, our macerator. But basically what it's gonna do is it breaks down the materials into dust, but you're able to get out of per ore, you're able to get, for instance, one iron ore, you can get two iron ingots instead of one. Such a useful thing. So for this, we're going to need three flint and two cobble, a machine block, and another electric circuit. So let's see what of that stuff we have. We have one flint. So let's take our gravel. Oh, I hate doing this. And the worst part of the game. All right, let's try and get two more flint. Ah, there we go. All right. Get out of here, Gravel. I despise you. All right, so we got our... Okay, there we go. It scared me for a minute. All right, let's get our cobble. We've got our cobble. Let's see what else we needed. We needed a machine block. So, I keep on looking over there for my crafting table. And again, this machine block for pretty much all of the machines that we're going to be building, which I think it's called, again, Industrial Craft. It's going to be using this, but oh, we need to make our circuit. That's right, our circuit. All right, so to make the, one of these again, we need more of these copper cables. So we're going to need more rubber. Do I still have more rubber? Did I use them all up? I think I used them all up, and it said I needed six of them, right? Yeah. All right, so here we go. I think we might have to go out to the rubber trees again and grab a couple more. I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll meet you guys back. All right, so I got some more of our sticky, was it sticky resin? Yeah, and you can see why it's so important and why I want it to be close to, or in, in our case, a swamp, just so that we could have plenty of access to the sticky resin. And you see this electric furnace also does it, it uh, heats it up, smelt it stuff quite a bit faster. If we had our macerator already, 
we'd be getting though I believe two rubbers probably per sticky resin which makes things even nicer all right so I think we're gonna need to make some more copper cable let's go ahead and do that real quick do I have the copper still on me bronze no we need more copper all right let's just grab that whole thing out Right, more copper cables, and let's see how many of these we can get out. Awesome, so that's enough for our little circuit thing. And again, let me just go back. I'm still getting used to things. All right, got a redstone. I believe that is the refined iron. I believe. All right, our electric circuit, awesome. Now for this bad boy, we should have everything that we need. Our machine block, two cobble, three annoying flint, and one electric circuit. Nice. All right, so let's throw this bad boy up now. Probably, I kind of wish that I put him there. Let's see. Oh, hey, looky there. Perfect. All right, so that's all charged up. Any of the sticky resin that didn't yet cook up, let's stick in here now. Does that not work for sticky resin? I thought it did. We'll throw our iron ore in. Or is it just really slow? Maybe that's what it is. I didn't know. You are really slow, sir. Why are you so slow? I want to get the one like we had at our base, which was just a crazy, super fast. But yeah, that's things to come. And this guy is all completely powered up right now. Alright, so we've got our macerator, macerator, whatever the heck your rater you want to call it. I think that's going to about do it for today, guys. I'll work on smelting up all these ores, so it's going to be taking me a while. And I think we will continue off next episode with some more of this industrial craft and um, try and get ourselves some better, cleaner form of power than just using a generator with coal. So, as always guys, comment, like, subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, please give a big old thumbs up, because it does help me get better noticed on YouTube for my Minecraft. Holy crap. <laughs> and yeah, peace out.